What's going on, everyone? Chris from PickDogs.com here with your early look in the Week 6 college football matchup between the Minnesota Golden Gophers and the Michigan Wolverines. Here's just take an early look at this matchup, sort of to see where the line is at. And we're going to touch on it again as we progress throughout the week. And we'll probably talk end up talking about it on our uh, Thursday live co college football show with myself, Mitch, and Ron Romanelli. We'll have a video for you about it on Friday um, with our normal college football videos, as well as likely on our Saturday show uh, with myself, Jay Briggs, Mitch, and Sauce. And uh, we'll start with the Michigan Wolverines, who do come into this one 5-0 and on the year, 1-3-1 uh, and against the number. You know, they got the big win last time out against Nebraska, 45-7 to at 17.5 point favorites. Um, my concern was the line moving, you know, a little bit past that key number of 17. I liked it at 16.5. Turns out it really was nothing that, that anyone should have been worried about as Michigan just put their foot on uh, Nebraska and just really ran over the uh, ran over the Corn Huskers in that one. While Minnesota three and two on the year, one and four against the number after a thirty-five to twenty-four win over Louisiana. Now I say one and four because the line did close around minus nine. Depends on where you got it. I had it in the night before and I got it at minus eleven, so we did get a push. Um, but again, that's where you know sort of making sure that you get do your line shopping, finding the best possible value. Um, but I'll tell you, you know. Louisiana had their shots in that game against Minnesota. Um, you know, they were playing extremely well early on. They led Minnesota at the half. They were up 17 to 14. You know, uh, Zion Chris had a solid game to start. Unfortunately, Minnesota's defense kind of put the clamps on him. And while the 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 score was solid for uh for uh for Minnesota, the offensive numbers just as a whole weren't. Yes, they put up 35 points in the end of the day. That's the only number that really matters. But, you know, they did run for 201 yards as well. They only threw for 146 passing yards. But again, in that case, it was about the field position and winning the field position battle, which is a key part of winning football games nowadays. You know, making sure that, you know, you pin your opponents deep, try to get them to you know, go three and out and getting the best possible uh, field position to start your next drive. The problem is I don't know if Minnesota is going to have that luxury here against this Michigan defense. This Michigan defense, probably the best they'll have faced to this point. Um, you know, and the, the, the concern that I have is that we've already seen Minnesota struggle in a couple of spots this year. They struggled to score against Nebraska. They struggled on the road at UNC. And Michigan, while they haven't had the toughest of schedules, this is still a Michigan defense that is, you know, fourth in terms of, uh, you know, uh, excuse me, 14th in terms of rushing yards allowed per game. Fourth in total yardage against, um, twelfth in defending the pass, which is really not the strong suit of this Minnesota offense. They like running the football, and Minnesota, excuse me, uh, Michigan has the the tightest scoring defense in the league, uh, excuse me, in the country, allowing just six points per game this season. My concern has always been for Michigan is that will they show up or will they play with their food? And I think you're starting to see Michigan sort of have that sense of urgency come into it now that we're into conference play. And these are the games that matter a lot more than beating up on teams like, you know, UNLV and Bowling Green and East Carolina. You're starting to see Michigan, like I said, really put their foot down. And I didn't love Michigan when they were laying those 35, 38 and a half, 41 point spreads. Didn't even love them laying 24 against Rutgers. But now we're seeing these numbers come down a little bit. And I know that, you know, going into Minnesota, it's you're getting almost three touchdowns with a home dog in a Big Ten uh in a Big Ten game, but you know, last time these two teams met in 2020, Michigan went into Minnesota, won 49 to 24. A lot's changed since then, but the one thing that has not changed is Michigan's defense is rock solid. I just have not been a fan of this Golden Gophers team, um, so I got I I just right now my early look is I see no other option than to lay the big number with Michigan on the road. Right now it's around 19 and a half total set at 46. Maybe you look at the over, but I think for me, the place where I'm really at right now on Tuesday is laying the 19 and a half with the Michigan Wolverines is my early look. But thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate you for tuning in. Uh, we're up over 142,000 subscribers here on our YouTube channel. We appreciate your love and support. So make sure you smash that like button for us. Um, make sure you're subscribed and make sure you have notifications on so you get the newest and freshest content here at Pick Dogs. And if you're looking for my best bets, Check out PickDogs.com. Click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page where you can find my best bets as well as best bets from some of the world's top handicappers. Thanks so much. Best of luck. We'll see you guys soon.